welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Trisha for anyone that's new and in today's video I'm going to be setting up a new crested gecko enclosure. So this is going to be for bamboo. He is my baby crested gecko. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she. I'm just guessing it's a he. Uh, we'll find out in time. I cannot spot pores on a baby crested gecko. I do not have the eyesight for it whatsoever. But um, I actually set up his enclosure that he's in right now, not too long ago, and I made an entire video on it. However, I just, it was really basic and I just really didn't like it. And because I'm in the middle of redoing so many enclosures right now, um, Mango's old enclosure is now available, which is a 30 gallon, which is what I have chip and citrus in. So I'm just gonna renovate and just make bamboo a full-on adult enclosure out of that 30 gallon because I really don't think that with his size it'll be a problem because he is such a crazy good eater like I really don't think he'll have a problem adjusting to a larger enclosure he is just very adventurous he's all over the place so I really think he'll appreciate more space so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that enclosure up for him and he will be in that for the rest of his life as he grows into an adult so I'm just really excited to try and make it look good. I want to do a naturalistic background and um, I just want to make it look nice because I do keep all of my cresties and gargs on paper towel just to make things easier and I just don't want to deal with any impaction risk whatsoever. So I just use the paper towel for my arboreal geckos. Um, I might change that in the future, but as for now, I don't know. I've been considering it this week a lot lately, but I'm not setting that up in this video. I'm just going to do paper towel with a naturalistic background and some nice little perches and things to climb on. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Maybe this can be helpful for somebody and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for being here. So this used to be Mango's enclosure. I think it's a 30 gallon and it's pretty long, but it's just like really, really skinny and it's really, really tall. So I wasn't able to fit this enclosure in the racking system anymore. I would literally have to pull this entire tank out to take the lid off to be able to do anything in the enclosure. It was really annoying. Are you interested in this, Chach? So I am going to tip this sideways. It's gonna be a tall enclosure, similar to Citrus's enclosure and Chip. And it, this is going to be an upgrade for Bamboo, who is currently in this 20 gallon. So this is gonna be Bamboo's full enclosure for the rest of his life. I wanna give it a naturalistic background and maybe some climbing perches. And yeah, I think that this will work out really, really great for him. So I'm gonna start making the background for it. So the very first step that I did here was I have some extra cork bark pieces and I'm just trying to set them up how I want them to be so that way I can spray foam them into place. By placing them horizontally like this, it will provide climbing ledges for bamboo. So it's just also more enrichment, different textures and feels. That's why I love cork bark so much because it just brings so much enrichment. And I think it looks nicer as well. So basically I'm just gonna fill in all of this extra space. It's gonna lock all of these perches into place. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the silicone thing after that and make everything just look way more naturalistic and then go and decorate after that. So I'm gonna get to the spray foam now, which is honestly the funnest part for me. I enjoy doing this, so yeah. So I had to stop filming for a second because this tipped over and I needed two hands to fix it. So as you can see, all of it is already starting to expand. So I have to let this sit for 24 hours and then all of this should be sturdy and then it is gonna expand even more overnight. So then I'm gonna take a butter knife and just carve everything away. But I did my best to like tuck in all of the pieces to make sure that they will really stay into place. I was careful to go along the sides and get all of the crevices. This one I had to go underneath a lot of it because it kind of sticks up kind of far. And I just wanted to make sure that all of it was locked into place and I secured it up there as well and down there. And then this one I tried to get a little bit on the side as well. So all of these should hold into place pretty well. 
and then bamboo will have things to climb on and be able to be horizontal in some areas, which is great. And actually, this one is like has a little bit of a curve to it, it's like a little wave, and bamboo could actually hide underneath there too. So we'll see if bamboo likes that. So yeah, now we wait a whole 24 hours. I lied, I added two more things. So these are just like little pots for plants. Um, so I just shoved them into the foam. They should still be secure um, as this dries. So I'm gonna use plants and put some plants in there as well because I just really wanna spiff up the background and make it look nice. And also adding more plants will just be good for enrichment as well and it'll increase humidity. So again, now we wait 24 hours. It's been 24 hours, so everything is dry now, and it has expanded pretty far. So I'm gonna use that knife that's in there. That's not gonna stay. And I have to carve it all out how I want it to be and then smooth it out and then start adding some silicone and dirt and moss. And you can't eat my glove, mister. Hey, no, 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 no. What you doing? You wanna come sit on my lap? He just had vaccines, so he doesn't feel too good. Poor baby. All right, guys, so here is Bamboo's enclosure so far. Um, everything has dried. It has been actually two days now, and I'm finally about to put stuff in it because I have plants. I've been waiting for these beautiful plants to come so I could put them in this background. And then I can put all the rest of the other stuff in this enclosure and put bamboo in here and see how he likes it. So just a quick little review before I start adding a ton of stuff because the more I add, the more difficult it is to like see certain aspects. So like super basic right now, um, there's a ledge right here for bamboo to climb on top of. Um, a plant is gonna go inside of this one. There's another one that's horizontal to climb on. And this one actually is like a little bit of a cave. I try to wrap you around there, but he can actually hide underneath of that as well. And then there is another teeny tiny little planter over here. So yeah, that's pretty much it so far. It looks great. I'm like so ready to add some green to this because it desperately needs some green. And yeah, so I'm just gonna get started and get everything going. Um, one thing I do want to mention, I do have the plants right here. I'm going to try to get um, the roots out and basically shake the rest of this out and then just use the Josh's Frogs uh, bio bedding as the rest of the dirt in this. So just got to be careful because like the little like white things and stuff that can be toxic to reptiles. So you want to make sure that you clean that out as best as you can. And um, the Plants are usually pesticide free and safe for your animals, but it's best just to rinse them just to be safe. Make sure there's nothing weird on them. So I'm going to rinse all of these and root them and get them ready to go in here. Um, even if I don't show that in the video because it's hard for me to film and actually do something at the same time. So just wanted to make that clear before I put those guys in here. So yeah, I'm going to get started now. All right guys, so I just rinsed my plants and rooted them. This one has like a little, I don't know what it's called, but it's like tucked in. It's like a little sleeping bag for a plant. Um, so I don't really have to root that one entirely because it's just its own little pocket. I picked this one to go in the bottom one because as you can see, the hole is very snug and tiny. And then I picked this larger pothos plant to go inside that bigger hole. So I'm gonna be using the isopod substrate and basically filling in the rest of the planters so that way I can plant my cute little plants in there. All 
right, so the plants are now potted and now I'm just gonna go and get the vacuum cleaner and clean up all this mess because it's like spilled all over everything and I need to rinse off the plants. Everything just got super dirty. So I'll be back in a flash and just all of this will be clean, hopefully. And it's clean. So this is Bamboo's um, before shot. I actually just set this up not too long ago at all. This was his upgrade, but I've decided to just give him his full upgrade for the rest of his life. So I'm gonna have to put him in this little container so I can take some of these decorations out and put it in his new enclosure and find him so I can take him out. All right guys, so I just finished the enclosure and I put everything where I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and get bamboo and put him in here and see how he likes it. Right now I just added a lot of fake plants to everything and some bamboo sticks to climb on. He also has a little feeding dish, which is tucked in over here. So yeah, lots of enrichment. I'm really, really liking how this turned out and he's gonna be so excited. He's a very adventurous gecko, even though he's so small and he eats so well. So I'm really not worried about him going in a big enclosure like this. So I think he's really gonna enjoy it. So here he is. He's so pretty. I'm gonna go in your new home. He just hopped on the side of it. Why don't you go in the enclosure? <laughs> He's just scaling the top. <laughs> he has all of this enclosure and he's just right there. So I'm just gonna run through everything with you guys again so you can just see everything that's in here. So he has, again, the little ledge to stand on is right back there. He has his live pothos right here. Um, he has a little feeding dish down here. There's another ledge over here in cork bark. He can also hide underneath of that. He has his live plant down there. Um, this long piece that you see right here, this moss that goes into a swirl at the bottom, it's actually wire. So I shoved it into the foam and it's staying in place so he can still climb all over that. And I really like how it just goes to the bottom in a swirl. I think it's cute. And then I just have a fake plant here, fake plant there, fake plant here, and fake plant there. And his little tail, he's just tucking himself in over there. So yeah, so far I really like it. Hopefully he'll like it. And that is the whole enclosure. And one final thing. So I just put this screen on and I use screen locks. So I believe these are like $3 at Josh's Frogs. Um, they're so easy to use. That sounded really loud and obnoxious, but you literally just like clip it and then you hook it around the side till it snaps and then it's stuck. And yes, that is Mango's old sticker and I'm gonna move that to her new enclosure when I make it, but I still need to make it. So yeah, he is just chilling out.